In this video, we will see the layout and programming flow of the routinely programmed adverse events by preferred term table. We will first see the layout for this table. In a clinical trial, adverse events experienced by the clinical trial participants are collected. The reported terms may vary slightly from one person to other but represent the same medical condition. So, a standard medical dictionary like Medical Dictionary for Regulatory Activities, which is MEDRA, is used to translate the reported terms into standard medical terminology. The standardized term is called preferred term and is stored in a variable called AED code as per the CDISC SDTM standard. To ascertain the safety of the subjects, reviewers of clinical trial data request a table summarizing the events experienced by the subjects across different treatment groups. In this table, a row is presented for each preferred term and treatments are presented as columns. The table generally contains two sections. The first section, overall number of subjects experiencing at least one event of interest is presented. And in the second section, the individual preferred terms are summarized. The events are summarized in terms of number of subjects, percentage of subjects, and the percentages are generally calculated based on the number of subjects in the corresponding treatment group. We will now see the programming flow for this table. First, we need to get the number of subjects in each treatment into a data set. This can be achieved using either PROC frequency or PROC SQL. As there can be no subjects in a specific subset population in a specific treatment, it is a good practice to create all possible levels of treatments in a dummy data set and merge with actual treatment total so that downstream processing becomes easy and zero counts can be presented. We also need to create macro variables to hold treatment totals to present in the column headers for the report. This can be achieved either using PROC SQL into clause or calls input of data step. We then get the summary statistics required for the table body. We can get the count for first section by grouping the counts at treatment level. We can get these counts using a procedure like PROC frequency or PROC SQL. We then get the counts for the second section by grouping the counts at treatment and preferred term level. We can get these counts using a procedure like PROC frequency or PROC SQL. We then combine the counts for first and second section. We can achieve this by appending data sets using set statement of data step. We then process further to populate zero counts for events which are not present in a specific treatments. This can be achieved by fetching a unique list of preferred terms and creating a row for each treatment for each preferred term. This can then be merged with actual counts and populate zero counts for an event which is absent in a treatment. We then need to calculate percentage and concatenate the counts and percentages together. We can achieve this by merging treatment totals to the event totals at treatment level and then calculate percentage and concatenate it with counts to create a single variable. We then need to restructure the data such that a separate column is created for each treatment. This can be achieved using PROC transpose. And then we generate the report using PROC report. That completes a brief description of layout and programming flow of the routinely programmed adverse events by preferred terms table. Thank you for watching and keep learning.